What's up, guys? How's the butter melting on your toast? <laughs> it's Sea Camp, and um, we got another game coming here against the Sacramento Kings with that young and upcoming shooting guard of Tyreek Evans. Great story, bros. Association team. So um, here comes Tyreek walking in, and uh, also we met we made another trade. We got Carl Landry, and we also got um, uh, we also got um, e Diogu. And Brendan Cook, maybe? I don't remember the name, but they're two players that are actually on my reserve, so they won't be needed on this team. Carl Landry will be the second sixth man on our team. Also, Darrell Wright with him. So, uh, yeah, so we're starting the game against Tyreek, and I'm going to warn you right now, Roy Hibbert. This is the first time Roy Hibbert won the tip. So, pretty big deal for me. Um... Starting off the game right here, running 12 up double for Eric Gordon. One play I don't run too much, but here it is. And obviously we drill the bucket with Eric Gordon, that sharp shooter at shooting guard. And David Lee rolling off the pick nicely, and we are able to take a 4-0 lead early. And now it's 6-0. They miss, and we're going to run with it, but tipped by d -Cuz, And Jameer runs with it. I could have laid it up right there. But I just didn't want to. Didn't need to. And Roy Hibbert goes in. But he kicks it to Danny Granger. Not the smartest idea. But, you know, he feeds him right back because of his great play. And, and one for Roy Hibbert. What a nice play. And um, it's 9-2 here. Remember this man, Marcus Thornton, checking in. Remember he did not start. I just want you to remember that because, man, he had the game. You could give anybody that kind of game. It wouldn't be Marcus Thornton. But there he is to start it off. Hitting a quick jumper, and uh, Eric Gordon driving in easily puts it down. And um, we had the lead early by a lot, 9 nothing. But uh, now it's 13-8, to eight, and I find David Lee, who somehow makes it with bad release, and I don't even think he has so much range to make that. But, you know, it's 2K, so it's not real life. It's 2K, so um, anyway, we got a 15-10 lead here. Roy Hibbert going to work inside, able to score the bucket. And we are 7 for 8 in field goals right now, and Gordon lining up a triple, that goes in and out sadly, so Omri Caspi's gonna run with it, and uh, he's able to find Marcus Thornton, hand in the face, Gordon, but it still gets the fall, so um, right now, Hibbert get, doing a little size up right there, Granger rolling, and Gordon finds some open room, and he's able to bury the jumper, and uh, we have a 7 point lead, and uh, right now, another, oh, and uh, I'm not gonna give it away right now, but uh, Tyreek getting a quick ISO right here on the drive. Euro step throws it up, gets fouled. But as you look on the ground, <coughs> Tyreek is down, and Tyreek is not getting back up. He is well injured right here. And um, generally, when they're on the ground in 2K, you know that they're down and they're going to be out for a while. So Tyreek is out for one to two weeks. So he will not be returning in this game. So Marcus Thornton, sadly, is going to have to take the role at player, uh, at uh, shooting guard, but Bino Udrick, and you know when it's when they want them to win. Bino Udrick going Kobe Bryant on me. A little up and under. So uh, we run a little 13 cross right here with Eric Gordon. He splashes it, and uh, we're only down by one, but, you know, Sam D'Alembert, one of my favorite players in the NBA, actually, I imitate him all the time and they're up by three amazing play right here Darrell Wright able to chuck it up and good and he just ties the game at the end of the first quarter so I'm liking what we're doing I'm liking it I'm liking it we're doing pretty good I did not realize Darrell Wright had pretty swirls on his head but for some reason James Posey misses that open three sadly and I was not expecting a missed open three from one of our best three-point shooters on our team. And here comes the stud, Marcus Stone, running up the court, but he decides to slow it down a bit. And this is his message to Mr. Posey. Dear Mr. Posey, let me shoot over your face. Contested. Ba-bang. So uh, now we were open for right there. And uh, a 52 overall, AJ Price, finding Brandon Rush on the cut. And Brandon Rush had a pretty good game, I have to admit. And um, uh, Brandon Rush, there's Freddy Garcia. No good for Freddy. And... Um, AJ Price on the run, finding Brandon Rush once again, who dunks it and one, and a uh, pretty move right there for both of them. Nice pass, nice dunk. And one. Here's Jordan Taylor kicking it over to Bino, who wants to run something, 
but it's not getting anything, so he just decides to drive in and scoop it in. But uh, they're up by six, and Jameer Nelson right here doing a little shimmy on the baseline, kicking it to Brandon, who lines up a triple bang, and uh, they're uh, they're up by three. And uh, now we're hoping for right here. Another nice play from Roy Herbert. He rolls and we find him and he dunks it. Yes, sir. And um, so he does a little bit of a dance right there with the arm fist pumps and uh, Darrell trying to get an isolation, but Brandon Wright's kind of in his way. I don't know what Brandon's doing. So he obviously can't do anything about it. And he throws it away and Freddy Garcia goes down and dunks it once again. So they have a five point lead right now and. Um, Jameer Nelson kicking it to Freddie Garcia once again, and he buries it. And they're up by 10 right now, and Gordon gets the quick steal, but Jameer finds some open room and is able to drop it home. And um, I'm going to ask you to answer a question for me. This is a comment, and uh, you can answer it in the comment box, but I would just like to know, who do you guys think is going to win the NBA Finals? Because is it going to be my favorite team, the Chicago Bulls, or will it be, you know, the always known Lakers? And, uh, or will it be those sp old Spurs that are coming out of nowhere, obviously? And uh, just, I would like to know the answer because I would like to see if you guys really believe in those Bulls. Because as a Bulls fan, I can't really say that, um, like, as a fan, you know, you kind of, like, uh, don't have that true answer because your team's actually part of the race. So you, you, I mean, obviously, I think the Bulls are going to go all the way. And they have a decent shot. I mean, that's the first seed in the East as of now and probably will get it. And a duh, knock on wood right there. But um, hopefully they do. And um, so, yeah, I, I'd just like you guys to tell me. And obviously, Marcus Thornton comparing to Jameer. And Jameer, you may not know, but he's had a great year. He gets... Double doubles every night, 15 a game, 12 assists, something like that every night. I mean, he's just working all night. He runs the floor. He does everything for me. He's a great point guard. I mean, Derek Collison might have been just the same, but I think Jameer is right there for the better spot. But there he is right there, lining up a quick three. A nice play from Jameer. A little bit of missed two. And DeMarcus falling down. He's able to drill it. So, uh, yeah, DeMarcus had a Hasn't had a great game so far, but Granger going to work, able to drop it home, puts it in, and a little double right there, double um, slide mess up right there, <laughs> Thornton going in place, and uh, Thornton, well, they're up by 13, Thornton on the drive, drops it in, and they are now up by a 15, and now it's actually 16, and Roy Hibbert, with a bad release, sadly doesn't get it to go, and they're on the run with it. Thornton slowing things down a little. I know it's pretty sad. You wouldn't expect Marcus Thornton to be the leading scorer of this team in this game, but he is. I'm going to give you that. And Omri Caspi lining up a three. Yes, sir. Omri just on fire, in my opinion. He's a pretty good player. He can shoot that. And Marcus Thornton stepping back. Yes, sir. Why do you even put a hand in my face? I don't need you. But anyway, Aaron Thornton driving in, finding Carl Landry, the new young hunter from, I believe it was actually Sacramento, and I traded those two to Sacramento. Ryan Anderson, Josh McRoberts, not on our team anymore. Danny Granger obviously had a nice game, if you look on the bottom of his game stats, 21 points, 8 for 11 from the field, 4 assists, 2 rebounds, pretty good game. And uh, Danny Granger hits both free throws. We're hopefully going to make a comeback right here. And um, Marcus Thornton lining up another three. And he's got 29 points. Um, Excuse me, that was a two. My bad. Uh, Danny Granger driving in. Finding David Lee with an ugly pass. But somehow this drops in. And um, our team's loving it. But I'm not loving it as a... As the GM, we're 17 points down, and with a pretty decent team, we're 1 and 4. That's pretty sad. I mean, with a good team with Eric Gordon, up and coming Hibbert, Jameer Nelson, always been there, Danny Granger, my star, Darrell Wright, all those guys, we, Carl Landry, we still can't win. David Lee, I mean, we still can't win. It's sad. It makes me upset. But anyway, Jameer able to find Gordon in the corner, who buries it, and he's got 16 points. Two for seven from the three-point line, and Carl Landry going to work, able to drop it home. We're coming back a little here. We're only down by 11 right now. Using that screen, David Lee 
drives it in, kicking it to Danny Granger. He's got a mismatch because it's Cousin on him. And Cousins can't do anything. And we're down by nine. We're coming back here. David Lee with a post up. Will he get it to go? David Lee? Yes, sir. David Lee. He's able to score the bucket. And Eric Gordon brings it back out. He jacks. He waits. Waits a little more. Finding Landry in the post. Will Landry be the hero? Again, not the hero, but another bucket? No. And this is where it gets bad. Carl Landry trying to stop him, but Jordan Taylor on the flush right there. And that was just a sexy dunk right there, I have to admit. Excuse my language if you bad, but Danny Granger, that's just 2K saying, I can't give you an easy dunk if you're going to lay it up or dunk it so easily. And one, so I'm not going to give you that dunk, but Thornton is six for... Seven for three point, and he's just on a on a tear. But Eric Gordon says we're not done yet. Well, hopefully we're not done yet. And uh, right now, Danny Granger on the drive, kicking it to Hibbert, who finds Nelson, who just throws one up there, and it falls in. And we're only down by seven. But 2K says no way I'm gonna let you win. So Marcus Thornton somehow does a Kobe Bryant impression, and he's liking it. He's a youngster who's got some Kobe Bryant potential. We're down by nine right now. Marcus Thornton, another Kobe Bryant shot. This young man is a beast. I have to admit, but sadly, I don't want to admit it because Marcus Thornton coming down. Now he's like LeBron James. He's a mixture of every great NBA player. Marcus Thornton going to work in many ways. And that will be the end of the game, sadly. Bino Udrick running the clock out right there. We lose 127 to 113. And Marcus Thornton, obviously the player of the game. And uh, right now, kind of upset with my team. We're one in five right now. I mean, now, now you would expect from a decently okay team. And looking at stats, Danny Granger with 31, Gordon with 14, 24, Nelson with 18. I mean, we did pretty good on the end, on offense, but. Defending Marcus Thorne was the only good player. His career high actually is 42 and C camp is signing off. Thanks for watching Vids will come to you soon. See ya